factory works 24-7 to produce candy, and we have over 500 employees. Here you can see where the cocoa is mixed with the sugar and milk. Wow, here. Chocolate rules. You should know, fat ass. Hey, I'm not <laughs> fat, you sneaky Jew. Oh, God, you guys, really? This again? And here's where all the fudge is put into boxes to be shipped all over the world. Kind of like Carbon's dad shipped out on him. I have a dad, butthole. My mom is my dad. You guys, stop. <laughs> Dang, yo, he's really going in on uh, on Cartman this episode. I like it. I like it. Kind of like Carbon's dad shipped out on him. I have a dad, butthole. My mom is my dad. You guys, stop. All mom you're doing is, is rehashing a bunch of old stuff. Your mom's your mom. Hey, Stan, isn't that Tom Cruise? Huh? Oh, wow, it is. <laughs> hey, guys, check it out. Tom Cruise is a fudge packer. What did you call me? Oh, you heard him. Hey, that is Tom Cruise. How come you're packing fudge, Mr. Cruise? I'm not a fudge packer. Then why are you packing fudge? Right. I'm not. I'm a very busy actor. I'm just here trying to get away for a weekend and do some fly fishing. Dude, you are in a fudge factory packing fudge. Oh, that does it. I will sue you. For what? You can't just call somebody a fudge packer and get away with it. Hey, is that fudge packer Tom Cruise? That's it. I'm suing this entire intolerant town. Dude, no buts. If you want to accuse somebody of being a fudge packer, you're going to pay the consequences. Listen, if you are a fudge packer, there is nothing wrong with that, man. Work is work. You feel me? You got to you gotta get it how you can. And I respect you for that. You feel me? But what I do want to know is, what the hell is Tom Cruise doing packing fudge? Guys, I want to really thank you all for coming. Shockingly, I've just been slandered once again in the town of South Park. South Park, Colorado is the most insensitive, <laughs> racist, Mickey, Mickey and bigoted place in this country. That town thinks they can say whatever they want about people and get away with it. If anybody has a gripe against that shithole, it's me. <laughs> yeah, well, I say enough. All of us together can put That's a stop nasty. to the slander coming from that town once and for all. No longer will they make snide remarks about whoever they want. Yeah! Hey, Marsh to the principal's office. Stan Marsh, come to the principal's Dude, office what did immediately. You do? I have no idea. You just had to push it, didn't you, Stan? Did you call him a fudge packer? Uh, he was packing fudge. Tom Cruise has put together a class action lawsuit along with 200 other celebrities. <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to Jesus out of this entire town, okay? But he was packing fudge, bro. I don't get it. Mr. Cruz, my son is so, so sorry. I don't think I've ever seen Stan's hair. Ever. That's that's the first time, bro. And he would do anything to take back his hurtful comments. That's nice. I'm still suing you all. Nobody calls me a fudge packer. Shut up, yes, fudge packer. Yes, it was a terrible mistake. But maybe you could see how, since you do... Take fudge and pack it into a box. <laughs> what? Well, I'm, I'm just saying that you are employed currently as a person who packages. I'm an actor. I do not pack fudge. Why is he in denial? What is right. happening? My son just got confused because you have a little uniform and a hat that says Fred's Fudge and Candies. <laughs> and you are... Look, it doesn't matter. Just please withdraw the class action lawsuit. Nobody in our town will ever call you a fudge packer again. <sighs> there is one thing that your town could do to maybe make me forget about this lawsuit. Anything. Anything you want, Mr. Cruz. It's just that there's somebody I've always wanted to meet face to face. If you could get him to show up in your town. Sure. Who is it? We can get anybody for you. Muhammad. The prophet oh. of the Muslim faith. Yo, why did I have the same exact reaction as Stan? <laughs> Yo, I was not expecting that, bro. I was not expecting it. That's why y'all told me to watch this one. Who, are, who is it? We can get anybody for you. Muhammad, the prophet of the Muslim faith. Ooh. <laughs> That's tricky. <laughs> well, then you can just get sued. Mr. Cruz, if there's anybody else we could try to bring to town, we could... No, just him. You get Muhammad to appear in South Park, or your little town is done. Bro, so they just kept poking the bear with the whole with the whole Muhammad situation, huh? Okay, people, I 
know, I know. But he will get the other celebrities to withdraw their lawsuit if we just get Muhammad to appear in South Park. Are you nuts? If Muhammad appears in South Park, we get bombed. That's right. <laughs> you get yeah. that. We don't know oh, that. Canceled. Maybe enough time has passed that now it's okay to show Muhammad. Dude, I can't believe we are dealing with this Muhammad thing again. But even if it were safe now for Muhammad to come, how, how would we ever find him? Yeah, showing an image of him is completely off limits and censored. So nobody has ever seen what Muhammad looks like. I saw him once. <laughs> you did? Yeah. A, a while ago, my friends joined David Blaine's cult. I had to go to the super best friends to rescue them. Muhammad was one of the super best friends. Yup, yup. Oh, and what? And he was just out in the Hey, open. make sure y'all watch my reaction uh, to that episode. It is on the playlist that'll be at the end of this video. All right? I got you. Open where everyone could see. Thank you in advance. Let me run that back real quick. Let me run that back real quick. Super Best Friends was a dope episode, by the way. Best friends to rescue them. Muhammad was one of the super best friends. Oh, and what? And he was just out in the open where everyone could see him and nobody got bombed? Yeah. No, dude, it was totally fine. It was just chilling. Muhammad showed up and there was no violence at all. Well, giant John Wilkes Booth shot Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> all right, Stan, that's enough. <laughs> Jesus. Can't learn to shut up, can you? Bro, look, were they not there when it all went down? I believe we can find Muhammad. I've done a lot of research and I've completed a sketch of what Muhammad could look like today. No, don't! Oh my god. Is that okay to show? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Look, people, all of us get ridiculed. But who is the one person on this earth that is completely free from slander? You want Mohammed because he can't be ridiculed? Muhammad has a power that makes him impervious to being made fun of. What if we could harness that power? Oh, wow. Jimmy Buffett, how would you like it if nobody could call your music drunken frat boy monkey garbage? I'd, I'd love it. By taking what Muhammad has, we would all be safe from ridicule. Like Tim Burton here. Imagine it, Tim. Nobody could rip on you for all the rehash movies you've made lately. There'd never be a TV show that pointed out you haven't had an original thought since Beetlejuice. And you put Johnny Depp in the same crappy music in every film. And if you're oh. that in love with Johnny Depp, you should just have sex with him already. A TV <laughs> show can never say that. <laughs> Gee, that'd be swell. This is the home of Tom Cruise, right? Hey, it's one of the kids from South Park that slandered me. I didn't come for myself. I'm just an escort for another celebrity who wants to get in on your lawsuit. Who? Who's that? Jennifer Lopez! Oh hey, my Jennifer. god! Oh wow! Yes, Yo, what? what? Lopez! And I like tacos and burritos! <laughs> That's so racist! <laughs> she's not even Mexican, she's Puerto Rican, bro! We just talk about tacos and burritos! <laughs> That's so goddamn ignorant, bro! <laughs> Oh my god! Divinity Comics. <laughs> Jesus, all we are asking to do is bring Muhammad to our town for like an hour. My son, much has changed since you were last here. Muhammad cannot make public appearances. We simply cannot risk any violence from the Muslim people. Aw, oh, not you guys too! Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Later, at the Hall of the Super Best Friends. Okay, will you let Muhammad come to South Park if we dress him up like a pirate? No, Muslims would still be angry if you showed his face. Okay, what if we cover his face with a paper bag? No, because you'd still be showing him walking around. That could be a de travel. Okay, okay, a suit of armor. We just have Muhammad in a suit of armor so you can't see anything. But it's still Muhammad walking around in human form. This is ridiculous! Boy, yeah, there's no winning, you need man. To understand that people get very offended when Muhammad is mocked because he's a religious figure. A U-Haul. What if we bring Muhammad to South Park in the back of a U-Haul and he just stays in there out of sight? But he's talking from the U-Haul? Well, yeah, he's got to talk or nobody knows he's in there. Here it is, friends. Once we have Muhammad, this machine will give us his power Bro, to Bro, they're legitimately made fun trying of. to, like, take Muhammad for himself? For themselves? Yo, he's bugging, bro. Some sort of, like, Way to transfer Muhammad's powers over to themselves. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, you mean we aren't going to sue and get a bunch of money? No, Jen. We've all got enough money. Yes, who needs more money? We need to get Muhammad's goo. Yes, yes. Arriba, arriba. Uh, excuse us for a second. <laughs> all right, just what the hell?
hell do you think you're doing? What am I doing? Just having some fun, Chola. Bro, he's literally stepping away from, from the entire situation to have a conversation with his hand. Does this dude really think that he has Jennifer Lopez there? Like, does he really think that his hand has a mind of its own? Bro, this is, uh, this is something else. Oh, cut the crap. I thought we were here for lawsuit money. Just keep your mouth shut and do what I tell you. If we're staying here, then I want to know what's going on. Don't forget, I know who you really are. Mitch Connor. <laughs> you, you keep your mouth shut, kid. You're a no-good swindler and a two-bit thief. We were here for money, not goo. Think about it. Muhammad is the only person in the world that can't get ripped on. Those celebrities want his goo. Yeah, so what? You want you know a two card worth on the open market? Hell, I got people in Hong Kong would give me 50 mil for that goo. So we let them take it from Muhammad, then we steal it for ourselves. You catch on quick, kid. Miss Lopez! Someone's coming, get my way back on! Hey, I was just seeing if you needed some. Oh, God, you found my fudge packing uniform. Oh, your secret is safe with me, Tommy! Stop! There are some extremists threatening that if we give Muhammad to the celebrities, they're gonna bomb us. What? Oh, it's, it's just a stupid threat. Come on, we don't want to piss off Tom Cruise again. All right, we got him, Tom. You shouldn't he have gone to the... Muhammad, are you okay? What the hell was that? You shouldn't have to the... the terrorists are for... Shouldn't he have been in the limo first before it exploded? For real. What does that paper say? We have placed bombs all over your city. You will give Muhammad to us. Celebrities want Muhammad for his power not to be ridiculed. We want that power. Huzzah. They want his power? What kind of extremists are these? You won't believe it. Our time is near! Soon, gingers will never be made fun of again! Oh my god! <laughs> Where the hell do you think you're going? I'm through with your stupid plan. The gingers want Muhammad, bro. What? It's Connor. I've got better things to do with my time. You're gonna walk away from 50 mil? Let me back. You walk away now and you'll regret it the rest of your life. Screw this, Connor. Find yourself another partner. Then I guess I won't tell you about your father. My father? Whoa. Not that might get your attention. You know nothing about your dad, right? I know enough. My mother is a hermaphrodite, so she is actually my father. <laughs> he, really he said his mom is a hermaphrodite, bro. Yo, this episode is all over the place, man. There's so much going on. So much packed into it, man. But I'm not going to lie. It is entertaining as hell. You really still believe that garbage? The people in your town sold you that land. Come on, you've had to have doubted it all along. How would you know anything about who my family is? <laughs> I right. know all about the swindles and schemes in this dead-end town. But that's your hand. How is your hand going to know more? By the people who are closest to you. I can prove it, too. But I'm going to want something in return. If you're making this up to keep me around, Connor, then you better just take me where I tell you. And when you learn the truth, you'll learn to trust me. And nobody else. I'm sorry, Muhammad, but we're going to have to give you over to the gingers. We can't what? hand over to the gingers. Yeah, we said we'd take care of him. But our homes and lives are at stake. We made a promise to Jesus. Stan, Jesus doesn't matter when Muhammad is involved. Oh, damn. <laughs> That'll be tough. Because ain't nobody trip about Jesus being on the episode, apparently. You're going to give Muhammad to gingers instead of us just because they are threatening you with violence? Well, yeah. Oh, we can play that game, too. You want to see violence? You got it. Goddamn stupid assholes. They want to play rough? Okay. Spielberg, go and get some automatic rifles. We'll go in there, and we're going to take Muhammad by force. And we're going to show him. Tom, the Tom. Damn, yo, Tom with full-blown Scarface, bro. Let's get it. We can't be seen getting violent. Yeah, that would kill all our careers. But the only way we're going to get Muhammad now is by getting just as violent with South Park as the Gingers. Fine, then let's have her do it. Her who? You know, her. All oh, right. Her. My God, she's even more terrifying than I remembered. 
Tom, Barbara Streisand hasn't been active for a long time. Are we sure we want to do this? Mrs. Streisand was blown apart in the town of South Park. She's probably more angry at that town than any of us. Power her up! Release the Kaiken! Looks like the like the, the dinosaur, the Green Ranger's Megazord. RFP. RFP, uh, the Green Ranger, though. That's badass. Hey, Barbara. It's me, Rob Reiner. Listen, Babs, we're taking on the town of South Park, and we really need your help. We figured you're pissed off at South Park, too, right, Miss Streisand? Bro, did smoke literally just come out her nipples? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Figured you're pissed off at South Park too, right, Miss Streisand? <laughs> that's lit, that's lit. Oh, she's pissed all right. Eric, what are you doing here? Did you all lie to me? All of you, in that room? When you told me my mother was my father? What? N no, Eric! Are you still worried about that old issue? I mean... I don't trust you! I want to talk to Mr. Hat. Eric, I haven't used Mr. Hat in a long time. I the... said get Mr. Hat! Put it on. Damn, bro. They really take... They really take these uh, hand characters serious, don't they? Do the voice. Hello, kids. It's me, Mr. Hat. Good to see you, Hat. Hell of an ad, isn't it? I... I don't believe I know you. The name's Mitch Connor. Flew the same division as you back in Saigon. Eric, this is silly. Why don't we just stop... Keep your hand up! <laughs> All right, Gingers. We have Muhammad for you. Now hand over the detonators. No, Damn! Man. First you gotta... <laughs> You're the deep as hell, bro! Prove that's still Muhammad in there. Have him step out of the bear costume. He can. Oh. Dude, we can't do that. Show us it's Muhammad or South Park is finished. Damn it, Mitch. You're asking questions that shouldn't be answered. So you admit it. There was a cover-up. No, Mr. Hat, don't say any more. Yeah, tell him what you knew. All right, Eric. Your father was in the room the day of your DNA test, but the results were tampered with. By who? God damn it, Garrison. Who is my father? Dude, this is intense. <laughs> what? Yo, that was 22 minutes? That did not feel like 22 minutes. Damn. All right, so we're definitely going to hop on the next episode, episode 201. But I'm not sure if I'm going to release that the same day that I release this episode. I'm definitely about to react to it right after this. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if the, the drop date is going to be the same. Anyways, smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And join the family. I appreciate y'all for watching. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.